it kind of came about early doors. Me and James Skelly talked to each other a lot about ideas, and because I'm I'm the only songwriter in the band. Obviously, the, the rest of the lads don't write songs, so I kind of I me and James, I I need someone to kind of for advice, I suppose, and just to bounce off a little bit. So he he's a bit of a mentor in that way to kind of inspire me and put me onto different things and we were saying from the start we needed to do something different on this album just because it's your fourth album you you can't keep doing the same thing and I think I can't remember what it was it was kind of we kind of started talking about it being cinematic and you know these like cinematic themes kept coming up and it should be like a book I don't know I kind of we imagined it as like it it was kind of a a film about someone trying to maybe reflecting on the life of what they've achieved sort of thing. And that ended up, I ended up writing about myself in doing so because obviously we've, the pandemic forced us to kind of stop for a minute and look back and think, wow, this is how far we've come because you're constantly looking forward in the band. So it was nice to just reflect, but with that, it kind of come with, like I wrote this, a breakthrough song in getting this kind of character thing was, on the track Visions, which is the second to last track, there's a line that says, was I complete at 23, which kind of meant I just had a number one album. I was with Katie, who I'm now married to. We just got together. So it's kind of, I had all these kind of significant things in my life at quite a young age. And now whatever it is, six years on, it's kind of like, well, well how did we get here? And what what now? What Where do you go from there sort of thing? And then I had the song The Sulking Poet, which is touching upon, that's from a fan page of, of blossoms, which I, which Joe sent me, and I thought it was funny. They're referring to me as the sulky poet because I think they think I need to smile more or something like that. So I just thought I'm always looking for song titles. So I had that song, which was obviously about someone trying to be, do what I do, I suppose, but from the perspective of maybe they didn't quite make it. And then I was obsessed with the song "Every Day I Write the Book" by Elvis Costello. And he talks about chapter one and stuff. And then I wrote the writer, which at this point I already when we were talking about this kind of film idea, me and James, he was like, by this point, I was like, right, it needs a name. What can we call the guy? And then in the film, Stand By Me, the, the older character at the end is called the writer, which I just thought was a cool, a cool way of putting it, I suppose. And it, it was kind of, we had a few, I had a few different songs, which then once I wrote the writer, that just tied it all together then. So I never knew right from the start that it was, it's more thematic than a concept, but, it definitely feels like all the songs are written from one perspective all the way through. Whereas in the past, I've maybe gone from different perspectives a lot more. Whereas this was like, it's all from the writer's perspective. Um, but yeah, it, just, it was just something to challenge ourselves and make it a bit, just give it a little bit more depth and, and meaning, I suppose.